Happy Vlogmas everyone. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know why I look so shit right now. I had a UTI last week and it has turned into a kidney infection. I was actually in hospital. It was a whole thing. Um, I'm feeling much better now. I still do have a little bit of um, back pain in the kidneys. Sorry if this is TMI, but I'm constipated as fuck from the painkillers they gave me. So I'm feeling not swell, like not swell, like swell, but not swell. So um, yeah, I've been really lucky to have um, people look after me this weekend. And um, a lot of people on Instagram who follow me there, checking out how I'm doing and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I just want to take it easy. Today's December 1st, so I want to, you know, obviously not get behind on my Vlogmas videos. I did every single day last Vlogmas. I don't intend to miss out on any days this year, especially, especially at the start. So I thought I would do a Q&A mukbang. So I've asked over on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions. I'm just going to go do some grocery shopping because I'm starting to run out of food because I've just been homebound for the last few days. Um, so I'm going to go do that um, and then hopefully, yeah, I will have some questions to answer tonight. Wow, Melbourne, great first day of summer you got here. <sighs> I am drenched. Okay, so I just stocked up on these from Chemist Warehouse. They are hotties, these little hotties pack. Okay, May, seriously, girl. Um, I stocked up on them. They stay hot for, I mean, it says 14 hours, but in my opinion, if they're on the inside of your clothing, they stay hot way, way, way longer. So because of my kidney infection, I need one for each kidney and one for my belly because they are all very sore right now. So that's why I've um, stocked up. But yeah, the good thing is they stay hot for a super, super, super long time. And because it's not a heat, like a, you know, one that you put in the microwave and have to awkwardly carry around, I feel like they just kind of sit real good and, you know, easier to go about your day. I feel like absolute shit right now after um, doing the grocery. I've definitely pushed myself too much today. I was also gonna like change my sheets and stuff, but I will do that in the morning. I'm going to make these now. I actually really like them. They are peanut satay noodles and they are from Coles and I can only find them at this really bougie Coles near my house. I don't know, they're gluten free. They're also vegan and dairy free. Um, so I'm gonna make them and answer your questions now. I think the girls are gonna have to go out cause this is gonna be a bit annoying with food. All right girls, out you go. These noodles smell so good. They're a little bit too hot though at the moment. I actually found these. These are avocado chips, tomato salsa, oven baked tortilla chip, chips, chips, <laughs> chips. These, I found these at the line, the checkout line at Coles. And I might try these, I really wanted to try them. So I was like, oh, may as well try them on camera. Then if they're good, you guys can see too. Really thin. They're a dry biscuit, but they taste literally like they've got like a wet salsa on them. That is freaking sick. I definitely shouldn't eat these. They have onion and garlic in them, but not a lot. You know what? I'm okay with this. Oh, good. These are a win in my book, but it's time for me to take some more antibiotics. Um, I overslept today, so I have to take antibiotics four times a day. So that means I really should get up and have some at like 6 a.m. Go back to sleep, have some with like a late breakfast. Have some with lunch, like a late lunch. Then an early dinner, then a snack before bed. I don't know, it's just, it's not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here for it. And I'm drinking so much water. I miss my sugar freebies so extremely much. I've got my heat packs like all shoved down my pants. 
and like sticking out the back on my kidneys right now. I seem really dramatic, but I'm just happy that I can manage my pain at the moment with the heat packs because the Panadine Fort made me so freaking nauseous, guys. Like you can't even imagine. Anyway, all right, let's jump to your questions. All right, let's zoom in a bit because I want to lounge back a bit. Have you tried Tinder? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, and what I'm going to do is if you haven't seen my two video story times of bad Tinder experiences, I will leave them in some cards for you guys to check out because yes, I have tried Tinder. Um, I kind of have past Tinder. How do people do mukbangs? How do I, this is so rude. Um, like eating and talking with my mouth full. Um, I moved past Tinder. I had enough of Tinder. I moved on to Hinge. Currently, I'm using neither. So fill in the gaps how you please. Are May and Hadley good girls? Of course they are. They're the goodest girls in the world. Now, they're pretty naughty. Um, they're good. They are pretty good. I actually got a bed. Um, oh, I just dropped this everywhere. Um, they sleep with me usually, but sometimes they're a bit annoying. So I've got them their own dog bed um, and May is already sleeping in that. I put that in the corner of the bedroom and May loves it. May spends like all her time there. Like she's, she's living for it. Hadley is very, very naughty. Like she'll stare at you knowing full well that you're asking her to get off the bed and she'll just be like, what? What of it? What, what are you going to do, punk? Did your boob lift hurt? Um, honestly, I was expecting it to hurt way, way, way worse. Um, in hospital, it was fine. The ice packs helped with most of the pain. Um, the actual boobs themselves weren't that bad in the recovery. The worst was my back pain um, from sleeping weird. And like, because my boobs were swollen, they're numb. Like, you actually can't feel them that much while they're healing. But all of the swelling and the pain in the bras that you have to wear, like, puts all this pressure in your neck and stuff so like these little heat packs that I was showing you guys if you're looking at getting something like that obviously you can't put the heat packs on your boobs and you'll be putting ice to reduce the swelling but if you um, have something like that to help with like back pain neck pain all that then like those help a lot <laughs> are you wearing the same pair of fake lashes all three days <laughs> yes <laughs> I, have, I do, I wear these lashes all the time. I have taken them off and like cleaned my eyes though. Usually like if, um, if I'm doing stuff and I forget about it or whatever, I'm not like, if I'm just, you know, bumming around, but still filming or doing stuff for Instagram stories, I want to wear lashes. So I feel like at least kind of fresh. Um, so yeah, usually like I might wear them two days in a row. So like I'll sleep in them overnight and they'll give my eyes like a really good clean. Then sometimes I won't put them back on. Sometimes I'll leave them off for a couple of days. Sometimes like I won't sleep in them at all. I'll just wear them for a day, wash them before nighttime. It just depends. Sometimes I do both. Um, but yeah, I always give them a good clean. Sleeping in them overnight every now and then isn't really the biggest deal if you think about it. Cause like when you get eyelash extensions, you're not allowed to get your wet eyes wet for um, like a day or two anyway so mm. do you like peas um peas are actually probably one of my um top five veg and there are some peas in this too and they're pretty good actually random question but yes yes i do can you do a mukbang with steph for vlogmas um sure we did a mini mukbang at our friend flick's wedding last year as part of vlogmas so you know what um yeah we can definitely do a mukbang with steph if you want to ask questions for the mukbang with steph um leave them down below and uh when we get around to filming that we will have some stuff to talk about or just like topics it doesn't have to necessarily be questions but topics you want to hear us talk about as well um we can both be very opinionated so yeah i think that that could be good I'm here for that. Will the Steph be in Vlogmas? A lot of questions about the Steph. Um, yes, she will definitely be in Vlogmas as well. 
Um, we're probably gonna, we've got a few things planned that we're probably gonna do during Vlogmas and stuff as well. I'm gonna keep them kind of a surprise, you know, just in case something comes up as well. Like for example, this is not the start that I wanted to Vlogmas, obviously being sick. Stupid camera stop recording. Um, this, yeah, obviously this isn't the start that I want to Vlogmas. And you guys have been really nice. Like just do what you need to, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, don't feel pressured. So that I feel pressured, it's just that I set myself this goal and um, I know that if I like slack and miss a couple things, I'll just be like, and then I'll do that all the time anyway. So um, I'd rather just try and stay on top of it as best I can and do, you know, more chill videos like this that are gonna be a bit easier for me to film and edit for you guys anyway. What's wrong with your voice? Um, do you have plans for any more plastic surgery? Um, no, no, kind of like, I think um, my surgeon wants to do a small revision on my breast lift, um, just on some of the scarring where my body rejected a few of the stitches. I don't know at the moment yet if I'll actually go through with doing that or not. We'll just see at the one year mark, we'll assess it. But in terms of like actual surgery, no. Um, I think there's a fine line between fixing a few things that you can, um, you know, to help boost your confidence and having proper body dysmorphia and wanting to change everything I think that that is there's a fine line there's definitely a fine line I'm not calling anyone out for that or whatever but to me I'm happy with how I look and like if I couldn't have got anything I'd still be okay like I'd still be happy I'd probably be really irritated with the eczema on my eyelids because that's finally gone away um, if I didn't have the eyelid surgery but like other than that visually like I can accept myself however I look so I'm recently single and, and I'm going to be living alone. How did you deal with living alone after your breakup? For me, it wasn't that uh, big a deal really um, because I already work from home um, and my ex didn't. So most of the time I was home alone anyway. It was just the night time. Um, the nights were difficult because I... Um, even like when I used to live at home with my mom, I should be aware. I just get scared at night time alone by myself. Even though literally my ex would sleep through everything. Um, there'd be a noise and be like, hey, go check that. And he's like, Pfft. so I would have to go investigate, you know, scary noises and stuff anyway. So that was the biggest adjustment. Um, so I do still get a little bit anxious um, when I'm here alone at night time. But the girls are very, very, very protective. Um, I don't tell them off for barking at noises. You know, it would drive some people crazy, but you know, for me, I think it's better for them to just deter whatever might be outside. It makes me feel better. Um, even though they're usually barking at nothing, but off the, on the off chance that they're not, like, it's fine. Um, also having, like, cameras and security and stuff, you know. I'm very, like, I entertain myself very easily as well. I have friends around. I um, go out. I hang out with them. I've got my dogs, like... I'm, I was, I've got brothers, but I've kind of been raised as like an only child, like my mom's only child. So I'm very easy for me to entertain myself. What's the best and worst thing about being your own boss slash running your businesses? Um, best thing, the best thing is being able to do things how you want to do them. Um, I would say if that makes any sense, um, to a certain degree, you still have to make like your clients happy and stuff. Um, but yeah, I guess just being able to run things how you want to run them, um, and to like your schedule within reason, obviously you've got other people's deadlines to work with too. Um, worst thing would probably be not having a steady paycheck. Um, that being different all the time. That's definitely, um, tricky. Um, especially living on your own when you're used to not living on your own. Are you still engaged? I don't see your ring. Will it Mia be at Christmas this year? This one's from Steph. Um, we will see. We will see. Most likely, yes. Um, Christmas is one of my top five drinking days of the whole year, so probably, yeah. Uh, let Mia go and be back. Is Hadley a boy? <laughs> Poor Hadley. Hadley's a girl. They're both girls. Um, 
they're just built very differently. Um, yeah, had this a little girl, well, a big girl. <laughs> I can't ask that question. I can't ask these. I can't ask these other questions either. How did you lose weight? What do you eat? Um, so this is the last question. I'm gonna answer the other ones are like a bit questionable. Um, um, so how do you lose weight? What do you eat? So other than at the moment when I just have to eat all of the time to take my medication, um, I do this thing where I eat when I'm hungry. Other than breakfast, breakfast is something I do every single day where I get up, go feed the dogs, make myself some toast. Um, depending what I'm feeling like, it'll be avocado and tomato and toast with salt and pepper, or it'll be just like butter and gluten-free Vegemite on some light rye toast and a V. Can't do the V at the moment though, because I'm kind of resting my stupid kidneys that are sick, like stupid kidneys. Um, so yeah. Every morning I get up, I do that. Um, other than that, throughout the day, I eat when I'm hungry and I eat when I have time to sit down and eat. I don't eat on the go. I don't eat while I'm doing stuff. Very, very rarely I'll do that unless I'm like, you know, extremely, extremely hungry or lightheaded. Um, I try and drink lots of water as well. Um, a lot of times people think that they're hungry, but they're actually just thirsty because hunger and thirst mechanism in our brain are apparently very similar, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's what I will do. Um, I will try and eat only when I'm hungry and I try and make good choices. Like I don't buy a lot of bad snacks. Um, and if I do buy bad snacks, I'll only buy a small amount. Like very rarely will I buy a whole block of chocolate because I know I'm sure as hell gonna eat that whole block of chocolate in one sitting. and feel really bad about it like it doesn't make me feel good after i eat it so um yeah i just try and make good decisions with my food and um just buy small versions of like naughty snacks so when i feel like them i've got them that's what i do anyway guys merry vlogmas thank you for letting me take a chill day today i mean no one really got a say in it i just took a chill day um but yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for your questions. If you're not following me on Instagram, then you should be, so you can take part in all these other things that I might be asking you in regards to Vlogmas, if you're enjoying Vlogmas, or just in general. Like, I, I am very active over there outside of Vlogmas. Um, I'll probably be less active on there during Vlogmas because I'll be really busy with this. But like, the rest of the time, I'm always super active on Instagram stories. Like. Pretty much every single day I'm on there. If I'm not, people are like, Amiya, did you die? So, always on there. Um, yeah. Don't forget, like, subscribe for more quality content of me looking fucking sexy. Alright, guys. I will see you tomorrow in another Vlogmas video. Bye. Jingle bell. <laughs> 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 <laughs>